Hello Knight here, welcome back to my Prussia campaign. We're just about to destroy the Courland fleet. Let's get on with this. We outnumber it vastly, so let's just quickly capture it. And we're pretty much set fair to be honest. We, we've got very few enemies in Europe. I think Courland maybe is one. I don't think there's any others actually in Europe. Oh, it might be the Italian states, I can't remember, or Venice. I think it is. Maybe Venice we've still got to destroy. That's it, I think, in Europe. Everyone else likes us in Europe, the um, Russians. I think we're really in a very good position in... Oh, we've got the weather gauge, which is nice. It's a nice change. What I'm going to do is do a mixed... I'm not going to put all my heavy fighting squadron together. We're going to put them in a a group so they all basically arrive at the same time. Whoop. There we go. Can't get them to come around actually. Whoop. There we go. Right, okay, let's start. I don't stand much chance of course. Um, Let's go here and go here. Let's speed things up. You don't want to watch us sailing slowly towards them. I'm not sure I've captured that many ships in this episode, I don't think, in this um, campaign. Just looking along, I think most of my ships we've actually, we've actually made. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so we need to come around here a bit more. And we'll try and pick up the wind a bit more. I think we can afford to actually go almost straight for them, to be honest. Not quite sure it was a good idea to have the flagship in front, but we'll see shortly. Let's pull around so we can start getting some broadsides onto them. hit them soon. The turning point is round about here so each of these ships will get a chance to attack them. Uh, I'm going to keep going straight with these groups I think to try and get round behind them so they don't turn round and cause us a problem. Yeah I mean the aim is to get all these arcs of fire overlapping so we get three or four ships all firing on the same same ship, of course. The way to do that is to do a quick turn. Okay, I've got a fourth rate here, so I think he's going to turn down this way. We need to in here. What we can do, of course, is break away with these ships. We've still got the weather gauge, so we've, we're in a very good position here to actually do them some real damage. Yeah, it's not a good idea what he's done. He's actually showing us his stern as well, to be honest. Um, so that turning point is going to become a bit of a kill zone, to be honest, around here. Okay, let's swing up this way. So we've still got the weather gauge. He's liable to run now, actually, but we've got pretty good ships that we can use to take them out, to pursue them, rather. Let's go long. Okay, that's fine. Let's send this fourth rate down here to make sure that we don't get any ships escaping. We've got three fifth rates there that are going to do the business. Okay, well tactically I think this has worked out okay. We've got a second rate here that we can bring to bear on this fourth rate. Okay, 
I don't think things are going alright. I think this guy can move actually. If we go here I think he'll pick up... Yeah, it can pick up his sails then. Let's go straight for this guy. with a few more. No, actually that's probably right. We've got the fifth rates on the end of this line here, which was good. I don't think we've left anything behind, have we? No, that's good. Okay, things are going fine, I think. We've got almost three ships on this guy. Four, maybe. Going down here, five. I think we've got almost five ships firing at this guy, so he should be thinking about surrendering fairly soon. I'd like to capture that fourth rate if we can, and this fourth rate. Not too worried about the sixth rate, to be honest. If we want to capture it, perhaps I should think about maybe boarding it. I don't think they're doing very much damage to my ships at all, to be honest, at the moment. Can't see the holes taking any real hits, to be honest. Let's get these big heavy ships, the second raters, in. Just need to close the circle. We've got their Admiral. And your Admiral killed, that's good. He's on fire, that's not so good. We don't want him to explode. Okay, got a nice concentration of fire here actually. He's still routing this guy so we need to make sure we, we take out his sails perhaps. That will slow him up. Obviously give them a problem in terms of their morale. I think it normally does. There we go. They surrendered yet? Not yet. I'm gonna try and I don't think we've actually got much chance of, of boarding this ship, I don't think, thinking about it. Um see if we can get a good broadside onto this guy or he's gonna escape. Surrendered. Let's go around here. We need to capture that guy. Let's go around here. This guy's got a bit detached from the battle. He's fine. He's positioned really nicely. So is he. Swing around so we can get the cannons on all side on board. Okay, losing slightly, really. Okay, I think we're not going to capture this guy. Let's see if we can give him just one one blast from his second rate, that might do it. Let's get right alongside this guy and give him a really good broadside. Wow, I think that must have he surrendered. Well, that's good. It's on fire, unfortunately, so we need to take out these two ships as quickly as possible. Um. Not quite, we're actually going too far there. We need to get away from here, that looks like powder. guys we need to hit. They're heading into the wind so they're not going to be able to get away all that quickly. Get a broadside on this guy. That 
should in theory finish them off to be honest. Is he gone? He's gone. Okay. Well he's facing a, a second rate ship, I mean and he's a brig, so I don't expect he's very he's very very happy with that. Try and get some more guys around here. Oh this has stopped burning, which is good. Got a fourth rate and a fourth rate, so that's handy. Surrendered. One more to go. bring the guns to bear and then it should be all over. I think we're actually going to do a similar naval battle against the Kulin fleet in off the coast of Brazil I think. Let's continue, just need this one last ship. This will be an interesting broadside when we hit. If we hit. That's um, Change the round shot to here we go. Often the round shot is enough to, to do it. Taking out the sows. Seems to have a bad, very bad morale effect on um, the ships. Okay, let's take all these guys. We need them for we don't certainly do not need the money. We've got sixty thousand odd. Let's move this guy back over to here. If we can, can he get in? Let's speed things up. Okay, that's good. So we've got a stack and a half here to take out these guys. Let's get down to... Uh, we need to repair, but I want to repair as far west as we can. Which in Darth Mod's case is a lot west actually. It's a very long way west. Get to here. Because these are we going to maybe... North America or somewhere and then we'll repair these guys and send them out trading. Let's repair a lot of them and then again I think the Baltic is now pretty much a closed sea. I think that we've we don't need a fleet in here actually. There are no port enemy ports in that particular sea. So we can move these guys out. Again um, We've got France over here, haven't we? Oh yes, yeah. They didn't join in. They might have joined in actually, I think. Okay, so we've got an army on board here, so we need to do something with that. I think that's probably going to go to North America, I think, that army. If we're not going to attack the French, let me just remind myself. I think the French were allies of Courland, but they didn't actually join in. War with Genoa, Iroquois, Russia. Pueblo, here on Wyandotte. So we don't want to upset Prussia, Russia at the moment. Russia are very friendly. So are Ottomans. So are the Mughals. Actually, we're not really that... So I keep saying this, but for being... Yeah, we're at war with Italian states, I think. For being a, um, a Prussian faction, we're actually quite well liked, which is really unusual. Normally everyone hates you. If you're Prussian, I think, I've found in the past. Um, oh, at peace with these guys and at peace here. You're just keeping a watching brief on the Genoese, they'll stab us in the back at some stage. Um, yeah, I'm just reminding myself what's going on here. Got two frontline stacks, one reserve stack here. Yep, so we're okay with the Turks. Oh, it was down here, wasn't it? Venice. Let's destroy the Venetians. Sure, we can do it. Let's see if we can let's see if we can provoke a battle. We can. That's kind of. I think we're going to auto resolve this. Let's demand surrender. No, because it's their last territory. Let's just auto resolve. We've got plenty of money to, to repair it, and I don't think we're going to lose any troops. There we go. And that's the end of. Yeah, that's the end of Venice. Let's repair, repair the army, repair this army, yeah we didn't actually lose any units to be honest there so that's good, repair this army, 
little transportation ship here, bomb catch. Um, I think that means we're only at war in Europe against against the Cherokee nations, Kurland. Well, Kurland will fall. We're going to check out up here. We're going to look and see, can this fleet here reach them? I don't think they can. They may be able to. Let's have a look. No, that's a shame. We're not going to be able to take out this fleet. It's got a couple of... It's got a fourth rate. Two fourth rates. Okay, well, we can't do anything about that. We're not going to attack France, of course, at the moment. We go around here. We're going to go over here. We're going to go there like that. We want to... Um, Take the army to North America. France has a reprieve. It's not going to be destroyed for a while. Unless they do something silly and attack us. Um, right, okay. Well, we're actually at peace with Russia for a change. It's quite good. We're keeping an eye on what they're doing. Because obviously everyone may be an enemy at some stage. But uh, we're pretty much well fixed, to be honest. There's not much really that can trouble us. We can move this navy out again, I think. I think possibly move it out towards Greenwich, and then we'll repair it. Yeah, this will remain in Europe, this fleet. And I think we've got a fleet down here, actually. I'm sure we have blocking the Mediterranean. Yes, we have. Yeah, we're stopping the Genoese from coming out and invading us. Obviously, that's what they're going to do. They're going to go out to the New World and, and attack us. That seems to be their typical behaviour. It would be nice to actually attack here and destroy that. We may attack the Genoese fairly soon. Um, let's have a look over here. I think we're ready to attack here, I think. But what we'll do, we'll, we'll go out to the coast of Brazil. This is the French Navy. It's got a fourth rate, two fourth rates actually. This is what we're after, I think. No, it's not. This, I think that there is a Courland. Yes, Courland. Okay, so we need to gather together our forces. That's okay. That's um, our battle fleet. Italian states, France. France is a little bit of a worry, to be honest don't think they'll attack us, but they may. Um, move these down. If you're wondering why there's some troops on board, eventually this, this navy will head out to Candy out here. That was the aim. We're going to sail around um, down here. We're going to take out this territory. That'll give us a base in India, should we need it. Is a place to repair ships, etc. Okay, so at war with these guys. That's the reason that there are troops on board. Just explaining that. Um, what has he got? Got one, two, three, four fourth rates. Actually, it's not going to be that easy. We've got one, two, three, plus. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to be. We're going to may lose some ships here. It's possible. What we're going to do is I don't think these can go in actually. No. What we're going to do, we're going to move forward some ships. Okay, that's fine. We can still do this. In fact we could auto resolve but we'll probably lose about 20 ships. Um, let's fight it. Doing that save them running away. If we did attack, they probably would have run away. Well, I don't think they can escape, can they? They can only go into the um, kind of the leaving area, the area that's kind of dispatch area. They wouldn't have been able to completely escape. So you probably didn't need to do this. It's often the case, you throw a few light, lightly armoured ships uh, towards them. And you find that they're willing to fight. They kind of almost ignore the other guys. Again, we've got the weather gauge. Let's have a look and see what's coming on. Let's speed this up because this is going to take ages and ages. Don't really want these guys so we're just going to make them leave again. I 
something over here. Okay, where are they? Where are the enemy? This is going to take a while actually. Let's go. I think they're still sailing towards us, aren't they? Let's go down here. This is better. A second rate coming on. It's going to take a while actually to get these ships on. These guys leaving? They should be leaving. Why are they not leaving? Whoops. Is that guy leaving or what's happening? Are they just kind of stuck at the edge of the map? So we do this. I don't really know what I'm doing here. What's what's happening? What's going on here? Right. Go this way. So we've got all our heavy ships coming on. These are kind of like stuck, basically. Oh no, I don't want to do that. I don't want them to go off, do I? Okay, so we've got our decent ships coming on now. Got a sloop and a six rate, so we could probably go in, cause some damage and run out. Of course, we're actually going against the um, against the wind here. Don't know how the weather gauge with this fleet. Let's see if we can kill this sloop off. Going towards us, which is rather foolish. Okay, this is fine, it's just going to take a while to actually get there, to be honest. Right, let's concentrate on the sloops, uh, sloop rather. Right, let's take the speed off. Should be able to destroy this guy. May even be able to take out that six rate and then we'll we'll retreat. Let's get really close to this guy. Let's take speed off. And he's stern. Let's lead these guys on towards us. Okay, that's going okay. Okay, that's all okay. Let's see what's happening here. Let's go down here. Go down here. Need to really pick up speed here to try and get away from this guy before he gives us a shot in the stern. We're probably... Are we out of range? We're going to be close, I think.
any luck we can use these three ships to drag them on actually drag them on to our heavy ships that's what I'm trying to say let's speed things up let's head down here whoops just need to take the speed off slightly so I can control what I'm doing okay that's fine just losing slightly okay, three fourth rates here okay Guys are coming. Okay, we need to keep going here. Um, start moving these guys, and it seems to be moving that effectively. Okay, let's try to get our guys to join in the battle. Sorry, this is a bit tedious because it is obviously it's very very slow because we're um, we're fighting against the wind basically. These guys are not really doing anything. Oh, let's get out of here. Let's pick up the wind and try and avoid being hit by down the sloop. What if we can get a do something clever here? We've got the wind. Let's keep going. See if we can get a hit on his sails. That'll certainly cause him some problems. Keep going, keep going, keep going, because we're going to get a broadside soon from this guy. Too late, I think we're going to get one. Really seem to be doing much damage with our um, attempts to destroy his. Wow, We're getting ships coming off the end of the thing here, the end of the deployment zone, which is weird. Okay, how are we doing now? We're certainly dragging these guys on. Okay, let's turn around. Turn around. We're going to continue to try and do some damage to this guy. Encourage them to to attack us. Okay, let's let's go. It's been drawing, that's good. Never seen this before where units have come on beyond the the map. That's really weird. Very strange. Okay. What are we doing here? Damage your sails, not much, I don't think. As we draw, surrender, too late. Okay, 
Well, that's all right. We've we've held them up for a while. Um, this is weird. I've never seen this before. Let's speed things up, actually. Let's send this guy. I think they're just hunkering down again, aren't they? I think, to be honest. Just in a clump. Go back to normal speed. Or actually, just slightly faster speed. I'm going to try and literally make them the meat in the sandwich. They're obviously coming straight towards us. Oh, it's got two squadrons here actually. This guy could do with getting out the firing line. Right, so we've got everyone coming towards the battle now, which is good. The only thing I don't like is we're kind of a bit extended to be honest. Okay, it's time to hit them now. Swing about, swing around. They'll actually have all their sails up, of course. So the opportunity does present itself to try and maybe hit them. Going off this way now, so we need to turn around this way, I think. Second squadron coming in. Should we go here. Let's go right through the middle. Again, right through the middle. No, we're going to go through here. No, don't do that. I'm going to go around here. See if we can take out the guy's sows and obviously upset him. Don't think we're too isolated, I think we're probably fine. Let's go through the centre here. Yeah, that certainly upset him. Go back to round shot. That was really good work actually. We really took out a lot of their sales there. Let's try the same thing here. We can just come in and pound this guy now. So it always pays to get in really close if you can. After a poor start, we're doing okay now, I think. Surrendered, that's good. Let's get right in there. Apple's flagship is taking a few hits. We're going to swing about. Okay, this guy's done well. Need to. If we're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Okay, let's get nice and tight to this guy. Don't want him to escape, of course. A nice broadside against this guy. Right, how's things going on and over here? Let's not board. Let's continue to fire into the backs of them. Let's 
surrendered on fire surrendered on fire so we've got two ships that are surrendered let's continue to go here get this guy out the at the firing line it's a fourth rate here against a flagship but we're actually we're gonna swing about because we're actually in trouble here I think okay we've lost this ship as well fifth rate okay let's continue to chase this guy yeah they're kind of getting away from me a bit don't like this the way things are panning out it's the Admiral ship we need to has he surrendered? he's routing it's because he's um, been attacked from the rear six rate that's 104 guys against 105 actually no we won't do that Really? It's on fire, so we need to take off that. Let's get the Admiral back in the battle. What's happening down here? Are they running? He's on fire as well. Right, we need to get close to this guy. It's fourth rate. Take out his sails if we can. Right, I think things are okay now actually. Still on fire. Okay, so we just need to take out this fourth rate. Which I think we can probably do with these two ships. another ship seems to be getting a lot of hits actually um, fifth rate against the fourth rate maybe not so good that he's wavering Okay, this is much closer than I thought it was going to be actually, this battle. Okay, things are going okay though I think. Okay, I think the main danger of this ship now, I think. Maybe we can get some more volleys, get more broadsides onto this guy. Okay, I think this is going alright now, to be honest. these two guys we need to control and get rid of okay he's wavering should be able to get some volleys against this guy now some broadsides, I keep saying volleys, I mean broadsides Okay. A bit disjointed this battle now, I think. Let's get 
nice and close to this guy. I think he's sinking this guy, I think. It's very down at the, at the bow, to be honest. Is that one we want to destroy? I don't think it is, to be honest. Okay, I think things are going okay here. This fourth rate has suffered quite a bit of damage. We need to concentrate our, our firepower on it a bit more, I think. Um, yeah, I think this guy's going to sink. It would be a shame, it's a fourth rate. Okay, looks like he's running. This fourth rate here might be running. Uh, we've lost a fifth rate, which is very annoying actually. I was hoping not to lose any ships. Okay, how are we doing here? We're getting anywhere with this guy. Shouldn't be much longer. Okay, fortunately that sunk that fourth rate, which is a bit annoying. I said I didn't really want to sink any ships. He surrendered, he's gone. He's routing. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. So we should get a couple of decent broadsides on the guy. Oh what are you aiming for this guy? He is. Okay, let's take the Let's try and put the fire out. If we take auto fire off, that should have a good effect. So it's just these two ships, I believe. Indeed, I think that's it. Yep. So it's just these, literally these two ships here that we need to destroy. Oh, actually three, actually. This one has come back, I think. Might need to bring some more guys in. Let's bring this guy up. Let's go back to round shot. Got the strongest side of this guy's hull with him, of course, now. Let's go around here, around here, so we should be able to hit them stem to stern, fire right through the ship, which obviously would be very uncomfortable to face. Got another... No, we've lost our Admiral. Damn. God damn it. This is coming, becoming an expensive battle. Need to move down here, actually, because we won't be able to get attack on the guy otherwise. He's almost sunk this guy actually. I'm hoping we can we can capture him. If he heals over he's gonna go. Wow we've lost um, quite a few ships actually. Three plus an admiral. Got loads of money of course. He's gone. He's actually sinking gone right over, he's healed right over as he's um, turned. Okay. Let's finish off this guy. Six rate. Six rate. But we don't have any damage of course. Right this way. This way.
speed things up. Okay, he's going to walk straight past a huge oh, tide. Does this guy? Okay, that's fine. We've got that guy. Okay. Maybe we're going to try swinging about. Okay, let's speed things up a bit. Let's finish this off. I'm going to go right across him. It's almost going. Another ship coming in. This guy, perhaps he can get a broadside on. Too concerned at his hull damage. Let's continue because he's actually routing. Let's give him a. His hull's quite strong, so we can afford to give him a, an attack stem to stern right through the. Through his bow right the way through his ship. Whoa! That's um yeah there we go. I thought that would do it. Right, let's take um, stock of the the losses, because I think we lost two or three ships. I might have lost our Admiral as well, which is quite annoying. Let's add them in. Yeah, we lost two ships. They lost five, which is not good. Okay, let's Put these guys back to trading. And okay, can we go in there? We can. Yes, we lost an admiral, so I think we need to recruit one. Yep, okay. 21, that's excellent. Age is an important thing. Only Stapash, that's not good. Captain Moria, yeah, that's in there. Right, so what do we got here? We've only got the French here to worry about. No, I think they're probably quite passive at the moment. Um, I think probably what we should do is keep these guys here, these six rates. We won't bother to repair them. Just use them to trade. And we'll send these guys to so these guys back to where should we get them to repair? I think I want to repair them before we send them off to um, West Africa. Yep, that's what we should do. And we'll go back to over here now, I think. Oh, no, actually, let's go back to Europe. Let's go back to Europe. I think you can probably auto... Oh, you're going to kill me for this, but I can probably auto-resolve this. Hmm... Do we auto resolve? Yeah. Let's go for it. That's the end of Courland. Oh, United States has arisen. I forgot they had a territory out here, didn't they, Courland? Courland, nation destroyed, new nation, trade gained. Okay, so we're at war with the Cherokees. So we can move so up to here and attack these. Okay, we will fight this, of course. We'll continue the siege for the moment. It's only two turns. We'll we'll drag their troops down. I think I had an army here ready to attack the French, so we're going to move back to a port. We're going to attack this territory here, but in fact, we're not at war with them now. So we're going to go back to a port down here. I'm going to move the ship round to here to pick them up. 
should we move them down the St. Lawrence Seaway anyway? That would have been a quicker way of doing it. It's always, it's always quicker to move by ship. Always, without fail, than overland. Okay, what have we got here? I'm trying to think where my armies are. We've got, got a battle here we'll be fighting probably in the next episode against the um, Cherokee. We're only at war with the Cherokee now. Yep, I say we're, we're well liked. Very strange. I find this very strange. For let's see if we can can we trade? We can't trade, unfortunately. Request alliance. Nope. Not interested in that. Okay, they're indifferent at the moment. Let's um, let's give them a gift. Very friendly. Orchid or go on. I think you need to come out and go in again for this to update itself. So 100, 140, 135. We really don't have that many problems to be honest. Um, can we trade with let's see if we can trade with Persia? Good. I don't like us, but we we'll try this. Good. Um, it's only at war with Cherokee. I think it's probably going to be Genoa will actually betray us. I would guess they're hostile. Minus two six nine. So we maybe will take out Genoa next. I think. Um, Let's stay here. Let's just tidy up this and then we'll end the episode. Um, so we have so much money. It really doesn't kind of matter about um, the units if you lose a unit or so. Let's repair this. Uh, let's go for that. Get the structure after. Forget the interest of structure to be honest. Um, for instance there. Um, okay, well, we've got plenty of armies, to be honest. We've got... Hmm, maybe not, just in case the Russians attack us. We're going to have a stack and a half. We maybe have a stack. We'll put a stack in Vilnius and one in St. Petersburg. And then we're fairly well garrisoned right away across the uh, eastern borders. Um, we've got these guys here, yeah we've got two stacks here that we can use to maybe attack the Genoese, I think the Genoese will be the next victim or the next recipient of Prussian um, care. Yeah that's just too much of a tempting thing, who are they allied with actually Genoese, that's the point. Do you know what? Okay, so so we're back to France again. We might have a problem with France. That's possible. Okay, well we'll we'll end the episode there. So we haven't fought any land battles in this um, episode, but a kind of thing feels a uh, feels as if things are heading towards a, a close on this particular campaign. Um, I don't really intend to go through to 1799. That would be ridiculous. We'll continue for the moment. We may actually get some interesting battles if we go into the Indian subcontinent. I think we'll maybe do that. We'll certainly um, maybe consider conquering the whole of Europe. We're not that far away from conquering most of uh, North America. And we've only got the French territories, Iroquois. There's odd territories about. Genoa will actually take out. We'll use this army here to attack here. We've actually got another stack coming down here. Nice. Probably that's a bit redundant to be honest, that stack coming down here. We'll have three really good armies to um, deal with anything that will happen in in um, North America will be fine. Yep. Anyway, we'll continue for the moment. I'm quite happy playing it and enjoying the games. Maybe we'll fight a land battle in the next episode. That'll always um, improve my morale. Uh, we'll certainly fight this battle over here. This will be the next battle that we'll fight. The opening battle 
the next episode. Lots of bows. Interesting. So we have to close and destroy them quickly. We have plenty of cavalry, which we can do that with. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So thanks for your time watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I'll be speaking to you soon. Bye-bye for now.